Okay, guys, let's have some lesson on how to make a really, really shitty thumbnail for everything. <coughs> so basically, what you're doing is you open GIMP, and for example, you want to have a really great thumbnail for something about Master Yi, like a new, let's say, a new overpowered build. And Let's just let's just take the tiers as placeholders. So basically, you drag it in, and you start by um, like scaling the layer to the thumbnail size of YouTube. Um, and then you just size the canvas down to to this center it and there you go um secondary you just need like let's just say the two tiers they are now both here ah uh, no let's let's do this another way you start resizing this one uh, scale layer to let's say 350 that should be enough oh that, that's too large so let's say 250 okay that's actually good so drag that here now duplicate it, drag the other one here, and then just like uh, ro rotate them a bit. Let's just make that on games you have to increase the layer border, the layer boundary size before. I don't know why it's a fucking bug. Can you rotate a bit? Okay. And then you do exactly the same thing, like in a bit of a direction, with the other one. Oh, just increase the boundary size by something, then center, and then just like rotate for a bit. Alright, that's very good. We can delete this ones. Now just like a bit replace them to make them look like really nice items. Then you make the board around them, threshold full, select, grow by, let's say six. Then you duplicate the layer you've selected. Oh, that's a wrong one, this one, duplicate it. And at this point, uh, let's just use a golden, golden background. Okay. Um let's just whoop. All right. This is what we need. Um we could maybe also take other colors, but I think golden is actually quite fitting here. Same shit with this one. We could actually have done it before, but never mind. Also six, also duplicate, also, uh, I don't know, oh, that was bad. Okay, now, um, So we actually need a challenger icon to make it look really good. Uh, but probably we're going to add it later. Now you gotta act, add some text. Okay. Um. Hmm. Now you have several options like. Merchant layers down to be able to 
Oh, that was bad. Not like this. Rather like this. Uh, I don't know, dude. We need some really good text over here. Like the picture is actually bad for thumbnail text because you don't have that much space. But let's just say we're moving this to here and this to here. Now that will, will probably work. For uh, thumbnails, always use this one, American Captain. Let's just say, uh, new meta. Oh, it's kind of big. Holy shit, dude. That's a bit too big. All right, so let's resize that. Make it bigger, bigger, bigger. Um, not big enough, not big enough. Try to center it vertically and... and hor mm, mm, mm. Okay, I think this is enough. Now you gotta choose which color should it be. And honestly, I'm thinking about making... Uh, let's just... Let's just make this one blue and a black board around it. So you basically go here and go to your standard um, gradient and choose some blue colors. For example, let's just do this to uh, this maybe. Uh, this could be cool. And then from top to bottom Okay, this actually looks pretty decent. Now you do the same shit. You select grow for six, round six. Should be something like six duplicate. And fill it with black, because black is fucking broken. Oh, always go on fill whole selection. Um. I honestly think I fucked up with the borders of the Tier of the Goddess. They should actually be... I don't know, dude. They should actually actually be black, too. Hmm. Well, let's just, let's just keep it like that. All right. So the next thing is, what you're doing is, you add some shadow. That works like this, drop shadow, and then you just oh, put an eight, an eight or something, and boom, there will be shadow. And this is looking very nice. Like the borders of the of the letters are pretty pixelated, but I think this is okay. Um, yeah, same shit actually for those two. Always use this one to select all. Drop shadow, okay. Select all. Shadow. Okay. And uh, what we need now is honestly. Uh, I don't know, dude. We probably n would need a challenger icon. Um. But, like, we don't have a challenger icon. It's always nice to have that challenger icon. So I just copied it from another 
PC. Uh, it's always good to have such an challenger icon because it's just fucking awesome. Like you can drag it in and everybody will believe you're a, you're a god and that they have to watch your video. So basically always use this challenger icon if you're going to make a build build shit or something. You know? You need this. It's fucking hilarious. And with that, it's the same. Oh, this sucks, dude. Oh, this sucks. Well, fuck that. I can't... Obviously, I can't use Shadow on this because uh, there are some particles around the actual icon that don't allow it. The Shadow would be here, which is shit. So, after that, we you have the option to add a border around your thumbnail, but I don't actually recommend it because it uses space and it's actually not necessary. Uh, another thing we can do is to make the thing, the whole shit a bit more interesting. Is select all, go on the chosen G layer, and then, um, like, use, use saturation. Ah, this sucks, dude. I'm not doing this often, to be honest. Levels, maybe? Um, this looks actually cool. Like, what about this one? Oh, fuck. That was bad. Darken it for a bit. And then increase the saturation. This looks really cool. Like badass. Like the colors are really badass and it also fits pretty well to like this blue and stuff. And I think I think we need to increase the size of this like a bit and in addition hmm. what could we do else uh, always a possibility is to include something like thug life but I think it doesn't fit here. Um, well, we could try something. Let's just go to Light and Shadow, Supernova, and then just spot the spot where it could it's like it's like actually pretty hard um this this looks also pretty badass apparently we're good in the position it means we're gonna going to do it again this time a greater radius and look this is so nice look at these supernova explosion stuff covering everything like, all the thing has been lightened for a bit, but... We will... Mm. Nah. Contrast. Like, is this good? I think it's a little bit too dark, but overall it's pretty decent. 
So what we're going to do now is uh, to export it on desktop. Oh god, no. Never save as JPG, it fucking sucks. Like, don't do that. It's so bad. Alright, and there you go. You've just made your thumbnail real clickbaity and very nice so that others will be. will be deceptive and will think that you're, you're showing something great, and, but actually you're just a fucking clickbaiter. Look at this, it's so fucking dank. Now just insert it into your video and GG.